Hiya! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today's on something that's a little bit different than anything I have spoken about before and that is the law of attraction. Now this is something that I've recently become more and more interested in. I'm by no means an expert on it or know everything that there is to know about it but I just thought I would share with you some of the kind of basic facts about it and things that I've discovered so far when doing research into it as I do just find it really fascinating fascinating so I wanted to make a video about it and also if you've recently discovered it or want to know a bit more about it or don't know about it yet then you this just may give you some insight into it and also just give you some interesting facts and things to know about it and these are just things like I said I've just done more research into it recently and just wanting to be learning more about it started to try and kind of apply it a bit I haven't really fully had the chance to full on test it out yet but I can definitely say that there's some interesting outcomes coming from it. Like already, I've been putting it out there that I really want this particular car and I have literally been seeing it pretty much every other day since I've said that. No joke, around my uni campus I keep seeing this car and each time I've been checking like via the number plate, it's not just this one car that happens to be everywhere that I go, it's different versions of the same car and so I'm really starting to see that there might be something in this and I'm really excited to test it out more and play with it a bit and try and make it work in my favour. But anyway, with that said, let's get straight to the basics and starting a bit more with kind of what it is in case you don't yet know or you've only just started looking into it and want to know a bit more about what it is. So first of all, one of the first things that I found is that you've got to think think of it as gravity. Law of attraction in essence is that whatever kind of energy and things you put out there is the kind of energy that you'll attract to yourself. So for example, if you wake up in a negative mood and everything starts to go wrong, it all just runs into this series of events that will be negatively affected. Whereas if you have the opposite, you're in a positive mood and everything's going well, it all bounces off each other and the better you feel, the more everything's gonna work out for you. So with the law of attraction and comparing it to gravity, it's like a force which is there, whether you believe it or not, it is something that's happening. It's not like something you can see, like gravity, you physically can't see it, but even though you're not always thinking about it, it is always happening. And when you become aware of the law of attraction and the whole concept behind it, you can therefore start to predict some of the outcomes of it and you can raise your expectations of what you want to get out of it and act in the ways that will make it work for you. So by saying that, for example, if you're always going to have positive thoughts about things or really believe in having a certain thing or being able to reach a certain goal, then you're more likely to be able to attain that goal and attract the things along the way that will help you do that. Whereas if you go into something thinking that you'll never achieve it, you'll never get there, then the things that will help you get there and actually getting there in the end is very unlikely to happen. So when you actually apply the concept of law of attraction, to the things that you want to achieve and to things that you would like to get and get out of life, then you can make it work in a way that works for you. Another thing to be said about this is that the law of attraction can be literally applied to anything and everything from your own thoughts to your feelings, others' actions, people, objects. You can exert the effect of it onto anything. So whatever you are wanting to achieve or whatever you're thinking or doing, then you can apply the law of attraction to it. And ultimately, the way we think and perceive the world World is our own built up internal image of the world and our own interpretation. The world is there but what we actually view of it isn't always going to be 100% accurate because it's based on so much more than just what's physically there. In our mind we alter what we see in ways that work for us and we interpret it based on our own experiences and how we feel. So by trying to set the law of attraction and sort of mindfully use it in a way where you influence your own thoughts and feelings and how you interpret situations you can attract more positive energy and more of the things that you would like to achieve and gain in life. So ultimately applying this principle rather than just taking on everything that happens and just accepting things for what it is you actually have the power to control what's going on around you and how you view the world and how things are going to work for you because if you exert positive thoughts and a positive energy about things that actually happen and what's going on around you then you will feel the benefits of it a lot more rather than if you just have an automatic reaction to interpret something in a certain way which may be negative and just accepting that you can actually control how everything 
is going to work for you and how to make it work for you as well. Another thing I thought I would just mention is a really interesting experiment that I came across when I was doing my research into the law of attraction and that is, I just want to get the details of this right, so it was an experiment where thinking younger actually made old men feel younger. So they had a group of aged 70 to 80 year old men and they basically, during this experiment, they act as if they were young and as if they already had those qualities of a younger person. And amazingly, the results actually showed that at the end of the experiment, compared to a control group, their blood pressure had decreased, as well as their arthritis, and their hearing and eyesight had improved. I think that's just sort of an outstanding experiment that's out there and that's been done with it, which can really just prove the power of the law of attraction. And I just thought that was, I just found that experiment really fascinating and it really like made me think, oh my God, wow, this, this is maybe something real. This could be legit. I really want to try this out for myself. So when it comes to actually applying the law of attraction, when you first start out, it's important to start with something that's either quite small or basic so that you can really just try and figure out how the law of attraction works and how to make it work for you rather than just going out there and aiming right up the top which eventually yes you could use it for that but just really sort of engaging with it just try and get something small out of it at first and this way you're more likely to create stronger beliefs around it and actually believe in it and therefore see the possibilities of greater bigger things happening and also what you have to do when you're wanting to get gains out of it and get new things coming into your life what is really important is to really visualize it and visualizing it with all five senses as well so where you actually just take a moment to sit down think about what it would feel like to have it what you would do if you had it and also using the present tense to act as if you've already got it so if you act in a way that you've already got it or acting as if you're pretty much at your goal already, then you're much more likely to get there as your behaviours and your own thoughts are geared towards that goal or gaining that specific thing in your life. So like I was saying, when you actually sit down and think about it, think about what am I feeling now as if you've already got that? What am I doing with it? What does it feel like? What does it taste like if it's something that you can eat? And just fully explore all five senses to make it really seem realistic. And you have to just really believe in it and believe that you can achieve it in order to make it work. And then that way, if you're acting as if you've already got it, it's a whole lot more likely that you'll actually get there and get it. So that was kind of like my little introduction to the law of attraction and just some fascinating things that I found out about it so far. If you are starting to look into it or just recently came across it and wanting to know about it, I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I definitely need to watch The Secret or read The Secret. I know that's a place where a lot of people start when trying to find out about the law of attraction as that is kind of where sort of the mainstream whole idea of it and greater discovery of this idea came about for a lot of people and so yeah I haven't actually watched that yet or read that I've been really busy with like building up to uni exams and everything that I haven't had a moment to sit down and watch that but I really want to as that does sound like something that will get me to know a lot more about the law of attraction and it is a really good starting place also probably in the future if I do start applying this more and I test it out and things do happen I'll definitely be looking to make videos about it and sort of share my experience of it with you as well so let me know if that's something that you'd like to see and sort of see how I apply it and see what outcomes I managed to achieve using the law of attraction also be sure to smash a big thumbs up on this video if you did find it interesting and also be sure to click that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel as well as tapping on that notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload and I will be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!